All right, today we are going to be talking about uh, angles and specifically angles on a clock. So, um, this is one easy way of starting uh, to understand angles uh, because a clock is a circle with 12 numbers on it. Uh, that are equally spaced. So a full circle has 360 degrees in it. This little circle above here is degrees. It's the same thing for temperature, but technically degrees are the, uh, I guess, the size of an angle. Uh, right, so... Um, or it's just kind of measuring an angle. So a full circle is 360 degrees. So between each number, if it's there's 360 degrees in a full circle, and there are 12 evenly spaced numbers uh, in the circle, that means we just have to divide 360 divided by 12 to figure out how much space is between each one of these numbers. And I know that 36 divided by 12 is 3, and then I would have to add this 0. So this would be 30. So that means between each number is 30 degrees. So if I draw a line here to here, imagine it's perfectly straight, that's going to be, this angle is going to be 30 degrees. Now, uh, if I were to come here and draw a line here, okay, that would be how many numbers do I have to hop? One, two numbers. So this angle would be 60 degrees. And if I go here, as you can probably see from this angle, if I drew it properly here, oh, I raced a little bit too much. This angle right here is actually a right angle because it's hopping 30 plus 30 plus 30 degrees, which is 90 degrees. So a right angle is 90 degrees. Okay, and then any angle below 90 is 60, and any angle above 90 is going, or, I'm sorry, any angle below 90 is called acute, and any angle above 90 is called obtuse. I'm sorry, I said 60 because that was the acute angle that we were using before. So acute is any angle below 90. And you can remember that because you can think of it as a cute little angle, a cute little angle, right? And then anything above 90 is obtuse. So an acute angle is going to look more like this. It's going to look slightly more closed than a right angle, right? So a right angle is uh, a right angle is um, 90 degrees, and that's the type of angle that's in a square or a rectangle. And then an obtuse angle is going to look slightly more open. And you can remember obtuse is the bigger angle because it's obtuse, like a tuba obtuse, big like a tuba. Okay, so remember a cute little angle and obtuse is big like a tuba. So, um, that's kind of some angle basics, but really, uh, all you need to do if they ever, if you ever come across a question like this, what is this angle on a clock? Of these two hands, all you have to do is count uh, how many numbers are between them and then multiply that by 30. So this would be 1, 2, 
3. So 3 times 30 equals 90, and this is a right angle. Uh, if it was... Um, if it was something like this, this angle here, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So that would be 120. And now, if this is 90 and this is 120, that would be 210 combined. And then this angle would have to fill up the rest of the circle. Right? So that would be 210 minus 360. This would have to be 150. And we can verify that by doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can count. There's five numbers. 5 times 30 is 150. So any amount of angles in a circle is going to have to add up to 360. So that's just kind of a very basic overview of angles and angles on a clock. Hopefully that was helpful.